Hi, it's Jason Thornton here from Tritex Games. We've just taken delivery of the new Crisis Protocol box set, the Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Very excited about this, been waiting for it for a long time and, and just can't wait to get into the box. So I'm going to crack it open and see what's inside this thing. I know there's probably lots of unboxing videos out of the Red Exit, but it's the first time we've done it. So let's see, let's see, it's a big box. This is a huge box. There's just loads and loads of stuff inside it. Okay, cool. So we're getting a new set of rules. We need the new rules. They have been updated quite a lot over the last few years. And uh, it's about time we got a, a new set, which is quite good, quite clumsy. Okay, new set of rulers. I think you've seen the uh, special with the rulers here. They've got, they're not quite as buckled on the end, so they become much easier for people to use. So that's the core box rulers, which is great. Um, okay, it seems there with the, the miniatures that we're getting, they're, they're all coming on, on a big sprue. So rather than the single sprues that we used to have uh, with the old Crisis cards, uh, they're now coming on a mixed sprue, uh, which would be lots of fun. Uh, I know that we... Uh, we tend to sell these separately and sort of sell the separate figures for people who want them. And uh, we will be doing that. Uh, we will be sort of extracting these so that people want to see. And so the next few days we'll be listing individual miniatures for people who don't want the entire set, but just want to buy the odd miniatures they need for their game. Um, you know, these are really good sculpts. I've seen these come together. I've seen people online put them together. I can't wait to put mine together. I'll have a complete set myself. Big fan of uh, Crisis Protocol. Um, more dice, not really changes there. Be nice to have different colours, but you know we'll have it. Not quite sure of the yellow dice and the little blue dice yet. That's an interesting uh, addition. So I don't know what that's to do with, but we'll find out sooner or later. New tokens, those square tokens, shiny tokens, and uh, more power things. I know some people are quite excited about the the, the no pronunciation of these. Um, so those are available. Ah. This is why we've got the squares then. So they have now got a uh, a, a new um, turn based. Obviously, the game goes over 16 turns and six, six rounds. Um, sorry, 16 points, should we say, and six rounds. And clearly, that's where these little squares go inside to make it uh, easy to track them. Um, so, uh, yeah, interesting. I, I was quite happy to just use little tokens and things. But if they want to give us a, a proper more sequence one, that's quite nice. It's certainly nicer than the original one that came out. Um, and yet, a ton of scenery. Uh, I mean, there is there's all sorts in here. We have uh, barrels. Yep, very useful. Barrels to um, barriers. Uh, cars. As a, cars are always popular. I like cars and smashed cars and things like that. We have squished cars and uh, and squished buildings, which is uh, a lot of fun. So we we'll some fun putting them together. Yeah. Uh, and even more scenery. There's just so much of the stuff. It's uncanny. I think they brought loads in this one. Um, yeah, more cars and extras and things like that to put together. Oh, more dumper dumper trucks, uh, dump bins and things. And mm. yeah, more lamp posts, more cars, more exciting things. But do you know what? What I really like about this set is the new artwork and uh, and we got the new cards, which are just. You know, this new layout is just so fantastic. I think the artwork is much cleaner. There's uh, Bucky Barnes and Captain America. We'll, we'll do the injured side, the, the face side. So there's Red Skull, Ultron. Another Red Skull. Red Skull. <laughs> Captain Zero, the previous one. Um, Doc Ock. Captain Marvel that comes in a different format. Marvel and Marvelous. Iron Man. Black Widow and Spider-Man. How exciting is that? And then we're also getting a set of new tactic cards, which we're quite excited. The new list of tactic cards, which allows us to sort those out. And uh, and then drones, because we have uh, grunts in these ones. Plus, we've got these new objective cards, which are brilliant because they give us the layout of the maps, which we're very excited about. Love those. Okay, on top of that, we have got uh, we've got the, the new card pack, which came out as well today. So... I'm going to be selling that. A lot of people have bought all three. I mean, uh, this and the main set, and I don't blame them because if you play the game seriously, you really want the new cards to go with it. So these ones give you all the new tactic cards with all the new crisis cards and things with all the objective markers as well. Uh, and they come in various languages. You only need one set of languages for English if you want to, but if you do want German, French, Italian, they're, they're all there for you. 
Um, quite interesting really. I'm just going to stick to the one set myself personally. Um, but yeah, I just find these are just such a nice format. You know, in the past having to have those and then get a map and work out where things are. You can actually see it all in one one. It's fantastic. This is a really exciting time for Crisis. We play Crisis Protic here on a, on a Tuesday night. We also have a tournament once a month on the first Saturday of every month. Um, so if you want to come and check us out, check our Facebook page out. Uh, check our, uh, uh, our social media, our newsletters, etc. Come along and play with us. Fantastic game. Really excited. If you've got your copy reserved, come in store, pick it up. If not, we'll be shipping them out tomorrow. All right. Look forward to seeing what your results and what your paint jobs are. Good luck. Cheers. Bye bye.